Rule number one of mountain biking is look good. Yeah. Rule number two, feel good. <laughs> Rule number three, safety. Big Sky Country. The Local Loam Series is all about highlighting successful advocacy groups that stand for building excellent trails. And for this episode, we head out to Missoula, Montana to meet MTB Missoula. <laughs> I'd heard about something pretty special happening in Missoula, so we packed up the van and headed east for the eight-hour drive from home in Washington to see the scene with our own two eyes. While Montana is definitely known for wide open places, it's not necessarily known for its mountain biking. And I hope to really learn something on this trip. Before we jump into the video, I've got two quick confessions I want to make. First up, we filmed this about 10 weeks after I broke my pelvis, so my riding's not quite up at 100%. Furthermore, it's taken me almost two years to finish editing this video. And since we filmed this, one of the key characters, Ben, has actually announced a surprise resignation from MTB Missoula. We're all gonna miss Ben, but this does mean there is a new opportunity within the club to fulfill his prior position. 10 years ago, we were, we were really young. We didn't, we didn't know anything. We we're like, yeah, why, why can't we build mountain bike trails? Screw it, let's, what's the problem, you know? <laughs> this is Ben Horan, the former executive director of MTB Missoula. Ben actually started as a race promoter and found himself sucked into the mountain bike world. I can't blame him. It's, yeah. <laughs> Next thing we know, you'll be in politics. Don't joke about that. <laughs> ben might be joking here, but indeed, a big part of mountain bike advocacy work is very political by nature. A lot of us really enjoy riding or building trails, but this political work isn't the most fun. A big goal of the series is to help support and thank those that have indeed grabbed the political bull by the horns. Thanks, MTB Missoula. Brian does the real work and I do the paperwork. Brian refers to Brian Williams, the trails director for MTB Missoula. Here's Brian hard at work. I think why people are drawn to Missoula is that it's, it's a little bit wild still, you know, um, and this is, this is definitely part of that. Carlton Ridge is a great example of how close we are to the real wild areas around here. I mean, you can see that's the Selway Bitterroot Wilderness right behind us. We're basically perched on the boundary. So this right here is called Carlton Ridge Trail. Yeah. Why is this such a key trail for MTD Missoula? It's one of the two that really put our stewardship effort on the map. Okay. Um, about 10 years ago, there's a bunch of people who wanted to give back and open up some new riding opportunities and the maintenance wasn't quite at an annual level so, and they all happened to be tool using kind of people and we're excited about running chainsaws and so reassembled the club from its, some previous incarnation uh, in the 90s and then uh, made an agreement with the Forest Service to help out and clear these trails. So Carlson Ridge and Sheep Mountain were kind of the, the two that, that they started out with. Each year, we'll clear hundreds of trees off each trail. So Sheet Mountain, for example, will be between 200 and 500, depending on the snow load and how things thaw out and what the storms are like. So if it's not cleared every year, you know, you get a two or three year maintenance backlog and it becomes this almost insurmountable task. After enjoying the awesome backcountry of Carlton Ridge, it was time to head back into town and try out the bike park. The community that's grown around Marshall, you know, we have events up there and people kind of, they get it. It's like their place, you know, there's, there's mountain bike trails. It's like our little zone. It's not, it's not done. It's not perfect. While you might have caught us on live PD hanging out in the parking lot in front of the mountain, Marshall Mountain is now better known for holding various championship level events, as well as being a popular after work ride spot for Missoula locals. You know, we were doing stewardship work and, and doing a little bit of trail design on the, uh, else, elsewhere in Missoula in the valley. And uh, Five Valleys Land Trust acquired this 
property from the Nature Conservancy, which is part of a big project. They, they, their goals are to buy up ex-industrial timberland and kind of put back the checkerboard into cohesive management blocks so it can be um, rehabilitated and, you know, preserved. This one, because of the ski lift on it, wasn't, uh, didn't kind of fit in with the rest of the properties. So Five Valley's got a hold of it with, you know, I think partly the idea to maintain the recreation history. I mean, this has been a ski area since like the 50s. Um, or the 40s, like way back. Uh, they called us up and said, you know, hey, we've we've got this thing. We think there should be trails out there. We want the community to see the potential of this. Yeah. Like, what do you guys think? And we said, heck yeah, we want to build some trails up there. That was in, that was in 2015, 2016. While Marshall Mountain in itself is a lot of fun, I'm impressed at how the club has parlayed this experience into a whole bunch of new opportunities. We have a really strong relationship with both, um, you know, Five Valleys Land Trust is the land trust in town here, where they actually own the land that we're standing on right now and had the opportunity to sort of experiment with and develop some of these trail building techniques. Cool. Um, that has parlayed into good relationships with the city and with the Forest Service too. With mountain biking this close to the city all limits, it also means quite a bit more accessibility for all sorts of generations of riders. How often do you bring the kids here to Marshall Mountain? A couple times a, a couple times a week. We will base nice. practices out of here um, uh, the last two weeks of the season because it's kind of more technical terrain, right? Okay. And so it's kind of our ender. And then in the summertime, we're here every week. Meg Witcher works for the city of Missoula and leads a program to get kids into mountain biking. We do some skill development, but really it's focused on uh, building resiliency and positive youth development. So I like to say going uphill is always hard, even if you're Sam Schultz, yeah. even going uphill is hard for you. <laughs> and then going downhill is always scary. So it's no matter you know what kind of rider you are, you're always pushing yourself. And so that's what we really teach with the kids. Yeah, there's, so there's two trails up here that are that are mountain bike specific. They're directional, downhill only, bikes only. Um, they've got jumps, they've got berms, they've got um, kind of kind of all the things you might be looking for. While I very much love the backcountry trails, this sort of bike park also serves a very important purpose for mountain bikes. I have so many kids. I have wait lists up the yin yang. And the thing I the thing that is the biggest barrier is where do I take these kids to ride? Okay. And that's why MTB Missoula is so important yeah. because they build the places that we can take these kids to ride. You know, the first roadblock is always insurance and selling the city on the fact that mountain biking um, is perceived risk instead yeah. of actual risks. And so that was a that was a barrier, but we but we reached it. We've built a trail that we think is pretty sweet, and um, as a part of that, we wanted to, you know, tip our, you know tip our hat to the to the to the funding partner but without you know just um, you know treating it like a NASCAR car or something like that and uh, so um, you know the owner of that brewery's name is Bjorn and so the the Bjorn again name came over over some late night brainstorming through uh, through people in the community and um, awesome. that's what we wound up going with. Cool. That's yeah. such a great name. <laughs> The Bjorn again trail was a lot of fun and has everything from a few hucks to some more technical single track sections and I can't wait to get back to ride that trail a few more times. Ooh. On Marshall Mountain, Bjorn again, Hello Kitty and the other upper mountain trails are forever safe in the hands of Five Valleys Land Trust Ooh. and at no risk of being closed. MTB Missoula has said farewell to Ben as he moves on to pursue new opportunities, and the club currently has a lot in the works. In addition to continuing the work at Marshall Mountain, they are currently working on finding solutions to preserve old freeride trails in another part of the valley called Deep Creek. Since filming this as part of another project with Five Valleys Land Trust and the city of Missoula, MTB Missoula has built a four mile trail called High, Wide and Handsome, which goes to the top of Mount Dean Stone on the south side of town. In 2021, they've just won the contract to extend that trail with a new four and a half mile ridgeline single track called House of Sky. This will create a nine mile continuous single track around the southern side of Paddy Canyon. The most remote parts of this will be hand built. You can bet that yes. I'm excited to ride all that. So Perhaps a follow up episode might be needed. Yeah, Brian, that was sick.
Missoula very much has the topography of a fantastic mountain bike riding destination. If you'd like to see the sport continue to grow in Missoula's area, please consider supporting MTB Missoula by simply becoming a member. If you're interested in applying for the executive director position, also please consider approaching the club. I think this is a great example of how advocacy can really make the community a much bigger, stronger presence and to help make it more approachable for the next generation. A big thanks to all the guys from MTB Missoula. My apologies for not having this published sooner. And I can't wait to come back and visit again and see where everything looks in another year or two. Thank you all for joining me. This has been a great episode of Look Alone. And if you enjoyed it, please do hit that subscribe button below. We're not driving the bus, you know, we're, we're along for the ride as much as anyone else. So it's, it's really a sort of a groundswell community thing. It's, it's, it's awesome.